Hi guys, this is Vijay and I hope you are doing well. In this video lecture, we will discuss on uh, basics of thermodynamic. We will discuss on types of system and types of boundary. First of all, what is system? System means we can consider any part of universe as a system. For example, I want to install air conditioning unit in auditorium. So at that time auditorium is my system. So at that time my study is uh, how many number of walls are exposed in the direction of sun. Okay, uh, number of uh, person occupied in the auditorium because we know that human body is also produce the heat. So according to the heat load, we can calculate the tonnage capacity of air conditioning unit. Then after we will install the air conditioning unit. Okay, so air auditorium is my system. Same as, for example, uh, I want to study a refrigeration system in detail. Okay, what's happened in the refrigerator? So, refrigerator is my system. Same like as in IC engine, my study is uh, what is the behavior of combustion in IC engine. So, at that time, the engine is my system. So, system means we can consider any part of universe as a system. Okay, system is separated by boundary from the surrounding. So, boundary means it will separate the system and surrounding, it is called boundary and surrounding means outside the boundary. Now, we will discuss types of system. The first one is open system. In open system, there is a transfer of mass as well as transfer of energy, it is called open system. So, in case of open system, mass and energy both are crosses the boundary. It is called open system. Let us take one example of a vessel. Okay, and uh, this vessel is uh, heated by some external source like as coal, uh, we can say any burner. Okay, so whenever we supply the heat to any open vessel, uh, water is filled inside the uh, vessel. And whenever we supply the heat energy at that time, this water will start to boil. Okay, so at that time what's happened? There is a transfer of heat as well as transfer of mass because this vessel is open and uh, it will start to evaporate and whatever the steam it will be generated, it is transferred to atmosphere, it is transferred to surrounding. So it is the example of open system. So, in open system, there is a transfer of mass as well as transfer of energy. It is called open system. The next one is closed system. Same example here we are considering, but except that here we are considering the vessel is closed at top side. So, there is no any transfer of mass. So, whenever we supply the heat energy, this heat energy, uh, it is stored as an internal energy. And uh, there is a transfer of heat to the system, but there is no any transfer of mass because uh, here we are considering the vessel is closed at top side. We can also consider the example of a vessel. In a vessel, the piston is fixed by some uh, locking device or we can say some fixture or screw. So there is no any movement of piston and it is filled with air. At bottom side, we supply the heat energy by any of the external sources. So, uh, whenever we supply the heat energy, so the heat, this heat will be transferred to the vessel and uh, there is a uh, molecular motion will be there inside the air particles and uh, the internal energy of the system will be changes. So, here the piston is fixed. So, there is no any transfer of mass to the surrounding but here the heat transfer will be there. So, we can also consider uh, the example of closed vessel. It is fixed with piston with some locking device. Okay, so here there is a transfer of heat but there is no any transfer of mass. It is called closed system. The next one is isolated system. So, in an isolated system, there is no any transfer of mass as well as there is no any transfer of heat. It is called isolated system. So here mass and energy both are not crosses the boundary. 
in practical life there is no any isolated system but we can consider the example of thermos so in thermos there is no any transfer of mass as well as there is no any transfer of heat so whatever the fluid is filled inside the thermos either it is a hot fluid or cold fluid it will maintain its temperature for a long time because uh, we know that the construction of the thermos okay uh, it is uh, made by two layers and uh, between the two layers uh, there is a vacuum okay we know that vacuum means pressure below atmospheric pressure or we can say uh, uh, there is no any air inside this space and we know that air is responsible for convection so whenever we uh, provide the vacuum in a thermos so uh, we uh, prevent the heat loss due to convection as well as for conduction we require the medium okay so there is no any physical contact so conduction is also we can prevent so we can also prevent the conduction and we know that for radiation there is no any medium is required to transfer the heat so uh, inside the layer of the thermos we are also providing the reflector and the function of the reflector is to reflect the radiation so for a long time we can uh, store the hot fluid as well as cold fluid and uh, we can maintain the temperature uh, for a 6 to 7 hour or we can say 8 hour so we can consider the example of thermos as a isolated system so in isolated system there is no any transfer of mass as well as there is no any transfer of heat we have already discussed boundary means it will separate the system from surrounding basically there are three types of boundary fixed boundary movable boundary and imaginary boundary fixed boundary means boundary does not change with respect to any external parameter for example uh, whenever we consider the example of refrigerator body okay it is the example of fixed boundary we can also consider the example of a wall okay and uh, the example of engine body okay these are the example of fixed boundary there are so many example we can consider as a fixed boundary uh, ic engine okay pressure vessel okay so fixed boundary means boundary does not change the next one is movable boundary so in movable boundary boundary will change okay uh, for example in case of a balloon okay whenever we fill up the pressure or whenever we inflate the balloon okay at that time it uh, boundary will change it is called movable boundary same uh, as we can consider the example of basketball tire tube okay these are the example of movable boundary so in movable boundary the boundary will change and uh, the last one is imaginary boundary so in imaginary boundary uh, we cannot uh, judge the dimension okay of the boundary we uh, we just imagine the boundary okay for example melting of ice we can consider uh, the atmosphere or clouds okay these are the example of imaginary boundary i hope this content it will be helpful to you thank you friends for watching this video